Hello Capricorn. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Northern Canada. This is your weekly reading. All right. I guess I could have shuffled a little more off camera, right? But usually they jump before now. There we go. We're ready. King of Fire is the bottom of the deck, the energies of the King of Fire and the King of Water. Oof. Capricorn, what are you up to? Four of Earth, you're hanging on to something that you shouldn't be hanging on to, person, places, things. And we have a tower moment. We'll clarify though, so don't be scared. Page of Earth, this is Earth energy, this could be you wanting to make a, an offer to someone that is stable and balanced, or someone, maybe another earth earth sign, wanting to make an offer uh, towards you. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be an earth sign. It could be just someone taking on those energies. We're going to see you taking a leap in faith after you've been manifesting, manifesting something you want to take a leap of faith in. Queen of Earth, this would be you, Capricorn. Beautiful you. Stable. Balanced. Independent. High Priestess, there are some things in uh, the universe is not ready to reveal to you yet. The heart of your reading, Capricorn, is a decision. You need to make a decision about something, maybe two people. Two places, like it, it could be as simple as, you know, which place that should I live in or location or house I should buy. Um, two jobs. You have a calling and you are being called to do something. Something in your gut is telling you there is something you need to do. And we have the sun. Whatever you decide to do, Capricorn, the sun is going to shine on you. So I do not think for one minute that you are going to make any bad mistake um, at all. No mistake. Wish fulfillment. You're about to discover the treasure that you are. And the five of earth. This is about being left out in the cold. But soon, days, a couple of weeks, you're going to turn your head and see what you overlooked. A treasure that you missed. All right, let's clarify these cards. And we'll deal with the tower. The tower could be about a divorce contract. This could be a lawyer that's dotting all the T's, dotting all the T's, dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. Um, it could be uh, an air sign that broke your heart that your relationship was dissolved. The four of earth was clarified by the nine of pentacles. So whatever it is you're hanging on to, you want wish fulfillment in this area. And it looks like you may get it. Bottom of the deck is the ace of Athens or the ace of swords. This is a brand new beginning in clarity and truth and strength. No baggage. You have a harvest. So whatever this offer is, it's coming in for you, Cap. There's going to be a bountiful harvest with it. The magician comes with the page of pentacles. So whatever you're manifesting, it, it almost reminds me of um, an apprentice who's waving his wand like emphatically uh, just going all willy-nilly crazy with his wand but all he manages to get is a pentacle this is what I see here but it will be stable and it will be good it'll be a good offer coming in it's a good message coming an answer to your manifestation or prayers you are manifesting here too you want to take that leap of faith. I think you're manifesting the path or that pillow 
to, to land on when you take that jump. You are preparing for something. You're preparing to make a move of some kind. Maybe not physically, maybe not moving uh, from one home to another, but maybe it's traveling. But you are preparing to make a move of some kind. High Priestess is going to be clarified with the Two of Wands. So this is a decision that you want to make. Whatever decision that is, all you want is that it brings in the goods, the stability, the, the wagon that goes to market and brings back the food for the babies. This decision. Well, Capricorn, you may be needing to make a decision about a water sign or someone who is emotional, uh, giving, nurturing. Whether you want to continue this relationship with this, this can be a man or a woman. If it was the king of cups, I would say they have their emotions in check, but because it's the queen, they do feel emotional or they're going through an, an emotional time and you're wondering if it's worth continuing your relationship with them. Your call. You're being called to be careful here. Someone is trying to take advantage of you. This merchant is trying to get five knives for the price of three and they don't care about your master craftsmanship. They don't care about your integrity, your honesty. You may have to make a sacrifice, Capricorn, just to get rid of this guy. The sun is going to be clarified by the standing stone. The standing stone is where all the villagers come to make their decisions, discuss their politics. So this could be about your family. Uh, making decisions. It's also about a new beginning. But the sun is going to shine. Crown, you'll be crowned in the sun. So this is wish fulfillment, but this is this can be the miserly card. You know, you could be a, a miser holding on to something you shouldn't because this is the same as uh, this one. Holding on to people, places, and, and things that you should not. But in this particular deck, it shows an unwanted guest, an unwanted visitor, and you having to hide your pentacles, taking them off the wall, because it's really nobody's business how much money you make or how you do it. Five of Earth is about feeling left out in the cold, and soon you're going to leave. Look, you overlooked a legacy here, but not much longer. It's going to become a realization to you very, very soon. Very soon. Let's do a little more clarifying. The marriage card popped out. This is foundation building, security, happiness, emotional fulfillment. All right, we're going to take those. Cut the deck, Catherine. Okay. This is you working hard. This is you as a master craftsman. Craftsman. And you have the all-seeing eye watching you. It goes back and forth to spirit to report on you and your hard work and what you can be rewarded with. Here you are. That's you, Capricorn. Stable, secure, balanced. Wish fulfillment. You're hanging on to that wish. That same wish you've been hanging on to for a very, very long time. Could be another earth sign that you're wishing for. The leap of faith. You're taking that leap of faith to let the tower fall. That takes a lot of courage, Capricorn, but good for you. Could be that you're just leaving a marriage and getting a divorce. There's that decision again. Should I stay or should I go? This offer that's coming in, will it bring about a full harvest? 
Maybe, but do I love them? Maybe. A decision needs to be made. Eight of Pentacles, someone from your past is coming back. You're manifesting them back or they're manifesting you, but they are coming back with an offer, a message, something stable, tangible. You are trying to manifest the king of fire. You want to take a leap of faith with this person you're very passionate about and who seems to be very passionate about you. Is it the person from the past? I don't know. You maybe want to make an offer to someone that you're preparing for, both emotionally and physically. You really are fretting about this decision and what you want, what you're trying to manifest. There are things that you don't know that that's bothering you, but it's not time for you to know yet. The tower. This decision that you need to make is going to be a tower moment. It doesn't matter what you decide, Capricorn, one way or the other. It's going to be a tower moment for the person that you didn't choose. They will take it hard. Or you will. But you're moving to calmer waters. The universe is calling you to watch for red flags. But you are moving to calmer waters. Here's your legacy. The sun is going to shine on you on this brand new beginning. And you will have all that you wished for. The kids, the grandkids, the dogs, the cats, the house, the car. That's your second. This is the same card. Legacy card. The magician. You're trying to manifest your wishes into reality and hiding the fact that your wishes might not involve the person that you're with. Let's call up the romance angels, see what they're up to. I don't know why this card ended up over there. I wasn't paying attention or something, eh? but that's about a spiritual retreat, going within, connecting with the higher self for guidance. All right, let's call up the romance angels. Have I do personal readings for $25 each. You can ask as many questions as you like, and I will answer as many as I can in the 15 to 20 minute time span. Also, as a member over at the website, $5 a month gives you access to all of the extended readings and all of the afternoon delight extended readings as well. Afternoon delights come out six days a week. The extended readings for the zodiacs come out once a week. So while you're there, time for me, and as long as I am able to perform that, ask me a question under one of the extended readings, and I'll pull you a card. That is a thank you for being a member to the website. You can subscribe at any time, but it's $5 a month for the first 200 people. And we're at, I think, 130? I, I need to count. Pay attention to the red flags. That showed up earlier here. The signs are cautioning you. Wow, you guys get the bonus extended. You don't have to pay for the extended this week. All right, there's a wedding involved. Finances and careers are a factor in your love life. We don't need any of those. And free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. And since we're doing the bonus extended, I'm going to pull up the shaman deck. Do it all in one shot here this week. Yeah. I don't know why it happened that way. I should have just gone over to the 
Oops, sometimes get carried away. This week you get the bonus. And I like to get a sign. I just didn't pick one this week. I guess it's you. Which we have shaman. Shaman, ancestors, guardians, and guides. Many paths. Many paths. Let's have a look here. 34. Your call. That came up. Your call now is to take a big, bold step and leave the beaten path. Heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move. Do not dally, lest you miss the moment. It's time to sail into the uncharted. Be sure you attend to both your path through this earth, as well as your journey through the stars. One more. Why not? Why not? You get two more. Completion. You're completing a cycle. And this is a beautiful card to get. This is about creation. Being co-creators. But I will read it to you. The heart of sky brings you a sacred reminder. You are a channel for the original energy of creation. Become the paintbrush, the canvas, and the artist. All guided by the heart of sky. Set your intention ethically and clearly. And allow the universe to take care of all the details there you have it capricorn god bless you i'll see you next week if not at the next afternoon delight reading bye for now